Jakob Flechner joins us now from the Association of German Chambers of Commerce and Industry. What's your view on how Germany is financing this? Well, the problem is we come to the point um, where this um, Energiewende, the German energy turnaround, is so costly that the question of allocation of those costs um, comes to the top of the agenda. Mm. And what we have to do now is trying to reduce those costs for the future um, to get out of this allocation problem. But at the same time, allocate those funds fair, in a fair way. I mean, is it fair what's happening that those industries that use more pay less? Those industries who pay very much already um, and contribute already to the energy vendor as such. Um, but on the other hand, um, they need those rebates to um, be in a good um, competition position mm. in, internationally. And they're threatening at the moment that they'll leave if things get more expensive for them. That's a real risk because yeah. if you um, produce a product that is um, traded internationally, you have one price internationally. And um, if you have so high costs here in Germany, um, that, that doesn't match anymore. So if this is about creating fair competition, why is the European Commission looking into it? Of course, um, there is a distortion wherever you have um, a reallocation of costs. Mm -hmm. um, on the one hand, um, smaller companies and not so energy intensive companies, they contribute totally fully. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, the very energy intensive, um, they do not. Mm -hmm. And sometimes um, they produce similar products and then a distortion is there is. And so the competition uh, has to have a closer look on that and um, find um, the reasons why we have in Germany this rebates. If the EU decides this is not fair, what, what's it going to mean for the companies that are let off the hook at the moment, like BASF, Bayer, Linda, for example? It will be very costly and it's very likely that they're going to de-invest in Germany. This is to say that jobs um, are going to be lost here in Germany and um, they, those companies, they play a very um, important role in, the, in Germany for the economy as an industry location. Um, so if we lose those companies, um, we're going to lose not only those companies, but many more. And we're talking only a couple of thousand companies, but up to 5 billion euros annually that they might have to pay back if the EU decides that this is wrong. That already shows how much money is behind that. Yeah. So um, if you already have as a company 20% of costs only for electricity mm -hmm. and you have to pay the double price afterwards, um, this doesn't match anymore. That all puts it into perspective. The Chancellor has said, as long as there are European nations where electricity for industry is cheaper than it is in Germany, I can't see how we can be contributing to a distortion of competition. Will, will that argument hold up? It will hold up, certainly, yes. Um, this, um, those costs we have now are extra costs, national costs we have only in Germany. Mm. So um, if you have rebates, um, the, there's no distortion of um, competition. If you don't have those rebates, um, there might be a very um, extensive distortion of competition between the um, different um, sectors and between the different countries. Just briefly, if you were in charge, how would you be financing this huge project for Germany? It's very difficult, that's no question, but um, we have to come to a system where we support the renewable energy um, not only by state means, but also um, in the market, so they have to, can refinance their investments on the market and that's going to be much cheaper than in the state system. Mr. Fleschner, thank you very much for coming in today. Thank you.